our viewers and said, man, KJ, you're always cooking, you're always grilling, you're always smoking. So why don't you do a, a cooking with KJ? So this is our first cooking with KJ video that we're gonna do. And uh, so ribs is on the menu. So as you can see, we just took the ribs out of a Jack Daniels and Dr. Pepper marinade overnight. More like kind of, uh, like almost brining. And uh, so yeah, here we go. We're gonna get ready to start getting rolling. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. So now we're gonna do the dry rub while the Traeger is warming up to get up to temperature. Uh, as you probably saw, there's uh, the dry rub. Every chef, to include KJ, has his own secret blend of spices and seasonings and stuff. So I can't tell you what it is. I mean, because then it wouldn't be special, right? So because we got these pork ribs, um, St. Louis style, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the dry rub on it. And the rule of thumb is, is you really don't wanna let the dry rub sit more than about 30 minutes on each side. So, we take this, this rack of ribs, right? We're just gonna put the dry rub over the top. Let it sit and we're gonna dry rub each side 30 minutes and then we're ready to throw it on the smoker. Stay tuned. Today we're gonna do the smoking on Big Daddy Traeger here. And I'm looking at a total of about a six hour smoke um, at about 265 degrees. So before you smoke, you gotta get it pre-lit and heated. So let's get this thing cranked up and going. So what I like to do sometimes is I take the marinade, which is gonna sit inside the smoker just to kinda of keep some moisture inside the smoker so the meat don't dry up too much. But then I like to kinda of like do like a light base over what was the dry rub, just to make sure I don't get no dry clumps of seasoning. Um, I don't know, it's just how I like to do it. When it comes to cooking, you know, there are some basic rules, but other than that, <clears throat> it's like it's like art. Do what you want. It comes to your mind. You don't have to follow a, a recipe. You always have someone out there who does it a different way. Um, and more power to them. But I ain't had no complaints yet. To date, there's not one rack that's gone unfinished. That's all I need to know. Let's let's get a nice view of these ribs and I know you're normally kicking it with KJ but you're cooking with KJ today so it's time to put these ribs on the grill and hopefully you know I'm not quite as big as that White House chef I ain't got them guns like him but you guys to be able to have a little bit of strength to hold all this meat and load the, the Traeger up so let's hope we don't have a big accident and then have to cut film, right? Because the weight distribution is definitely changing. So you probably saw earlier, we put the pan on the grill. I always like to get a little prepped because it makes it easier to keep the smoke clean. Now you'll see my, my smoker, I keep, it, I keep it clean, right? So there's differing opinions. It's kind of like the coffee cup. Some people never clean the coffee cup because they like that that dark color at the bottom. That's like old school Sarge type of coffee, right? I keep mine clean, but some smokers, they don't really clean it. And it's just people like a cast iron pan. They like the flavor and stuff like that. But for me, I like to keep mine a little clean. All right, so here we go. We're moving into the next step. 
critical step. You see we got our world famous KJ sauce. I can't tell you what it is. It's just, I can't, you know what I mean? You just gotta come by the house and try it, right? So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ribs, right, that have been sitting here. Cause this is where we put the sauce on it, we wrap it in foil, then it goes back out on the smoker for about another two and a half hours, three hours or so, right? So I lay it over the top. While it's moist cooking, it'll it'll get to the other side. The important part is making sure that the sauce is actually on the meat side, not the bone side where we took the membrane off, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over like this. Wash, rinse, repeat with these last two racks, then it's back on the smoker. So if you see right here, we starting to get that pull back off that meat. That's what you're looking for, right? These things are gonna be, man, these are gonna be so hua, so hua. All right, so you'll see after I put them in the foil for the second round of cooking for another two and a half, three hours, it just depends on how tender you want. You want the bone to pull out? Do you still want it to hold on the bone to be tender? That's, you know, that's up to each individual person how they like their ribs. But the one thing I learned is I keep it on a tray because when they get super tender and you try to pull them up and the, the ribs may break and stuff like that, I'm still rookie status. I don't got the gloves, which I need to go get where I can just handle it. Um, but I like to keep it on the tray. Uh, so when I'm done, I can just pull it off. All right, here we are at about the sixth hour smoking. It's time to take these bad boys off. So the first thing we're gonna do is shut this bad boy down. Got the shutdown cycle. It takes about 15 minutes before it'll slow down. It'll shut down. And we're gonna take these in and uh, see what we got. All right, so here we go. It's the big reveal time. Time for that yummy goodness. bones just kind of pop out oh man brah 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 you can't beat this All right, y'all, where you at? Where, there you yeah, go. Yeah, we need to try the Yeah, the come on, ribs. come on. Get this this St. Louis style KJ ribs. Yeah. Let, me, let me think what you're talking about. What do you got? Bro, that's good. That's good, bro. bro. Best ribs ever. Bro. Mm -hmm. bro okay, bro. I ain't paying them either, bro. All right, y'all, kicking with KJ. Special edition cooking with KJ. We made these ribs right here. The kids gave it a double thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't don't ask for the recipe because I can't give up the secret ingredients. But I will tell you these are Dr. Pepper Jack Daniels ribs, KJ style.